This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. People just aren't following some just real basic safety measures when it comes to safely concealing this. The Reno Police Department wants gun owners to take their firearms out of their cars. The reason why is Crime Beat Tops Channel 2 News at 530. Now, since the start of the new year, Reno Police have taken 10 reports of firearms that have been stolen from vehicles. I'm Landon Miller. I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for keeping it here. So just in four weeks time, yeah. you know, with the proper planning, you can prevent a criminal from taking your gun. Ryan Kennedy joins us live in the newsroom. Ryan, first off, how can gun owners prevent becoming a victim here? The best way is to simply take your gun with you when you leave your car, Kristen. Otherwise, if the firearm has to stay in the car, keep it out of sight and lock it up. The folks at Reno Guns and Range know a thing or two about safety. And they say keeping your firearm secure is one of the most important things you can do as a gun owner. I understand that people want to have their, you know, their firearm readily available should they be in their vehicle. But when they leave the vehicle, they should take that with them. But many people aren't. Since 2016, there have been 265 reports of firearms stolen from vehicles in the city of Reno. Ten such cases already in 2018, with one gun traced back to a downtown shooting earlier this month. When we did recover that firearm and we ran the serial number, it was reported uh, just days prior uh, to have been stolen out of a vehicle. Fortunately, there are plenty of ways to prevent these type of thefts from happening. Well, there's several different lock boxes that are available, some that are smaller, some that are larger. Reno police say locking a gun in your glove box or keeping the weapon in a trunk works too, especially when you're entering a building that doesn't allow firearms. Oftentimes, a burglar breaking into a car may not even have intentions of taking a gun until they find it in plain sight. They're looking for uh, those electronic devices, cell phones, laptops, iPads, whatever the case may be, and when they find a firearm, uh, those things on the black market go for a lot of money. And according to Reno police, if they never receive a report and a stolen gun shows up at the scene of a crime, the original buyer could potentially suffer consequences. The family of a victim that was uh, shot, injured, or even killed, uh, they could potentially seek legal representation to go after the owner of the, the original owner of the gun who didn't report the, the gun stolen. And if you're a gun owner looking for a more secure way to hold your gun inside your vehicle, you can find more information on the online version of this story. Covering the story live in the newsroom, Ryan Kennedy, Channel 2 News.